and stay down. Yo, hold up a sec, Todd. Hmm? Nonsense over there. <laughs> That's not what I saw. What'd you call me? What the? Hey, what are you filming me for? Knock it off! Chill out, man. Why do you care? I don't see anything that says I can't record here. Enough! Stop! Just give me a reason. You have one? It's a free country, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa! Hey! What gives? You just kicked my sign over! Ah, that was the wind, man. A big old gust just came through, right? Yeah, crazy. Just now it whooshed right over. Uh, I told you! Put that down! <laughs> Come on! Kids don't seem to give any fucks about people these days. Agreed. So much for seeing the sights, huh? Well, you're thinking what I'm thinking, aren't you? <laughs> Do you have to ask? <laughs> so, anything else you want to accuse us of? I'd say you must be losing it, Pop. You goddamn brats! I got that one! He called us goddamn brats! You picking on high schoolers, man? Uh, no, I just don't want you loitering in front of my store! That's all I said, okay? So stop disturbing my customers! <laughs> that part's not gonna make the video. Wow, is that one of those new smartphone models? May I? What the hell? Damn, the camera on this thing is amazing, man. Your parents buy it for you? Holy crap, he kicked Sakaki down! You must be seeing things, kid. Anyway, your smartphone's kind of dirty, don't you think? Let me see. Hey! Give me my phone back! You want it back? I'll give it back, but only if you put this poor restaurant owner's sign back up first. Asshole. You think you can fuck with us? You're gonna kick your ass! Let's go! Guys are monsters. Yeah. 
Yo, <laughs> was that Aikido just now? Oh, don't tell me you've been training at a secret dojo or something. Uh, just more of my own thing, really. Figured I'd find a way to hold back for punks like them. Here. This came from one of those kids. Your call what to do with it. <sighs> you really didn't have to. But thank you. Those were students from Serio High. <sighs> You'd think private school kids would be better behaved, but they're just as immature. They look like a bunch of entitled brats. <laughs> They'd learned some manners the hard way in Kamrocho. Well, we've got our fair share of unsavory types. The Yakuza, not to mention those Yokohama Leomong gangsters. Those kids wouldn't dare to mess with them. So they're selective about their targets. Yes. They'll only harass you if they think they'll get away with it. Think they'll be back for more? I certainly hope not. Anyway, I sure am glad you stopped by. Come to think of it, you're the only ones who've ever intervened. I take it you're not from around here? Yeah, but we might end up staying. For a while at least. Ever hear of a detective agency called Yokohama 99? We were on our way there right now. Hmm. I'm afraid that doesn't ring a bell. That's all right. If anything, we should get going. Sure. Oh, but before that, please take this with you. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Yokohama 99. Yep, yeah, that's the place. Whoa, not too shabby, guys. Isn't the man of the hour, Yagamishi? <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome. How are you? <laughs> this guy. First, he falls off the radar. Now he's got this sweet office. You're still quick as a thief. Maybe a little quicker, actually. Well, I'd say thief isn't very fair. It was stealing. Oh, come on. You know I wasn't doing it to line my own pockets, right? We took from the powerful and gave to the powerless. It was altruism. And it's all in the past now, so let's just leave it at that. The place is nice, though. Kind of familiar, even. It should be. You're our inspiration, Yagami Detective Agency. You guys are the goal. Huh. For sure. So, how about you guys take a load off? If you're ready, I'll give you guys the briefing. Say what? A briefing, man? Let him go over what we know. I've actually got an agenda for today's meeting, too. An agenda? Just roll with it. Give him a chance. All the detective talk has made him go a little overboard. I'm sure it'll work itself out. <laughs> it's all good. Imitation really is the sincerest form of flattery. To sum up why we called you, we've been seeing a major upward trend with these kinds of cases. What do you think? Care to take a wild guess? I'll give you a hint. It's not a problem you'd find in Kamurocho. 
So, it's specific to Yokohama? I know. It's gang warfare. The outfits run in Chinatown or at each other's throats, and you guys sort out the aftermath. Well, we did just hear about the Yokohama Liumang. They're a gang, right? Yeah, the Yokohama Liu, whatever. Bet they're stirring up shit as we speak. Actually, we haven't run into any gang-related activity at all. No, what we're dealing with isn't so conspicuous. I'll just tell you, it's bullying. Bullying? Sometimes parents ask us for evidence to prove their child was bullied. Fairly often, they want these bullies taken to court immediately. They'll also want to hold the schools accountable, but none of that happens without solid proof. How old are these kids? Most of them are in middle school. Research shows that boys at that age experience a sudden spike in testosterone. This leads to outbursts to assert dominance, compounded by the irrationality of an immature brain. Scientifically, this potent mix of impulses often manifests as bullying. Yeah, I call that puberty. But that would apply specifically to boys, right? You're getting cases with girls involved too, aren't you? Ah, with girls it's more likely rooted in oxytocin, a brain hormone that also has links to bullying. See, oxytocin fosters feelings of attachment, regardless of your gender. For instance, scientists have observed that a mother's oxytocin levels surge when looking at her child. And then it's not always a bad thing, is what you're saying. Indeed. Did you know it was oxytocin that enabled cooperation among our primitive ancestors? Ancient matriarchs were particularly vulnerable during childbirth, thus requiring communal support. So you could kind of say the survival and reproduction of our species was largely oxytocin at work. After all, raising a child in the wilderness would have been impossible alone. However, this intense social need bore a dark side. Individuals who failed to contribute were shunned and eventually condemned. Let's say there was a villager who never put in his fair share. All he did was eat the crops. If that became the norm, nobody would work until the village was on the brink of starvation. And by then it'd be too late. Precisely. That's why these offenders were punished. Primitive as it was, punishment equated to justice, a necessary measure for society's greater good. And societies with a stricter sense of justice were the ones who endured in the long run. To put this into focus, these people are our direct ancestors. So from a science perspective, modern day bullying is just primitive? More like it's hardwired into our nature. Hormones are fucked up, huh? I wouldn't chalk it up to just that. However, we humans do tend to reject what's foreign to us. Whether we're socially awkward or simply misunderstood, those who don't conform are ostracized. That's how it's been since time immemorial. The misfits of civilization are deserving of punishment. All over the world, no matter where or when. Looks like you guys have been doing your homework. Tsukumo-kun's the one hitting the books. I'm more in charge of the field work. Makes sense. Here's another fun fact while we're at it. An act of betrayal also increases the human urge to punish the offender. In those cases, the act of punishment floods the brain with dopamine, triggering an instant rush of pleasure. In other words, serving justice can feel just as good as eating or having sex. Sure, but that's where we have to draw the line. Justice can't be twisted into joy, or it stops serving its purpose. Very perceptive, Yagamishi. So, back to reality. What's this big case that needs all the manpower? Ah, yes. Our client is the chairman of a private school. He wants us to scour the campus for any and all instances of bullying, leaving no stone unturned. That said, he also requires us to be discreet. How big is this school? Uh, let's see, there are six classes per grade, making 18 in total. 
So approximately 600 students. Given that, Sugiyoroshi and I couldn't possibly vet them alone. We'll be meeting the chairman at a restaurant tonight to lay out the specifics. How about the two of you come join us? We could use the help. Man. <laughs> For a couple of rookies, you sure have it together. You guys are free until dinner. Oh, we already made the reservations in Chinatown, by the way. Think of it as a little welcoming party. The restaurant's name is Kyoinro. If you could meet us there, that'd be great. Sure. <laughs> you didn't have to do that.